Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with RC Groups, joined again by Mike Vassar at Robart. Mike, what is going on? What's going on, Jimbo? We are going to talk today about something that if you didn't have it, you could possibly take off, but you'd never land or turn, and that is control horns. Control horns. And this is following up on last week's video, which is a follow-up on the week before's video. So we're continuing to expand on the, the different products that Robart's carrying. And today we are talking about control horns. And instead of opening up a million packages, we've got this handy dandy little device. It looks like my... the bottom of a surfboard. <laughs> Just about. So control horns. We offer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different control horns. Okay. All the way from these four here, which is, and you can see the part numbers are on here, 333, 332, 331, and 330. These ones all have a metal ball inside of them. Oh, wow, nice. Okay. And then 329 through 326 or 326 through 329, those have a plastic ball inside of them. Okay. And, and the ball is there, so when the uh, when you're pulling on the horn and it's in different parts of the radius, uh, the ball can kind of move and, and make sure you have a smooth transition. Is that, that correct? That is correct. Okay. So they range in size from inch and a quarter, which is from the base of the horn. Let me get this tilted right. The base of the horn straight up on a 90-degree angle to... The, the center of the ball. That there is the, when we look at the size, so like in this part number, if you were to go to our website and you look at 333, it's an inch and a quarter. That's what that measurement is. Okay? Got it. Now, I am going to open up part number 328 just to show you what you get. Get my kniff out. So in here, what you're going to get is you're going to get the horn. Look at that. This horn here. Now the horn is a, a, it's completely molded together. Now this piece here is your back plate. So you will crack this off and then you'll put this on the back side as, as you screw in. Okay. Place your nut through, and then that will screw into your back plate, and that's what this is for. Or if you want, you can put a piece of hardwood or something of that nature on the back side of it. That's what the that's what this piece is for. Okay. Got it. Yeah. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six fasteners also. So this is what you're going to get in each of the uh, packages that you receive. Right? If you're watching this video, I know you know there's nothing more satisfying than getting going from the top into the back plate and, and getting purchase and knowing that you're well on your way to tightening that thing up. Yes. Now, the other thing we should discuss is the clevis ends. Now we offer two different clevis ends, all right? And that is part number 335, all right? And this is a 440 clevis end. And this is what attaches to your horn. So I will pop one of these open. And, all right. So the clevis end goes through here and goes over the ball and that is how you will control your horn all right now this is there's one two three four of these you get your four fasteners and your four lock screws right lock nuts they these pieces here sorry the, your fasteners are what goes go through the clevis. Okay. And lock down. 
Oh, okay. I don't think I've had clevises yeah. like this. The threading in here is a 440 threading, and then you will have to get your own threaded rod as your push rod to be able to control the horn from there. Yes. Okay. To whatever length you need and all that. Correct. Your servo, your air cylinder, whatever is going to be attached to this. Okay. So that's the, this is the packaging or the offering that we have in regards to horns here at Robart. Right. Why the don't we go to the website, Jim? Okay. I, I just want to say the amazing thing about these clevises is the lock nut because I've always had the snap-ons and then you take fuel tubing and slide that on because the last thing you want is to, to one of these to pop off on your elevator and uh, that's it for the whole dang thing. So with these locking bolts and nuts, that is awesome. Correct. It is a nylon. There is a nylon insert in this tiny little nut. It is a lock nut. So just so you Got know. It. Yes. Added to the website. Nice and, and yeah, we don't have to worry about anything breaking or flipping off or anything like that. You are correct. Torquing, right. So, so on the very top, at... you would go to catalog. On the left-hand side, you go to control horns, and uh, you'll see the full array of horns here. And then all the way at the bottom, we've got the two clevis ends. We offer it in a 440 and a 256 threading. The 440 being the larger one, the 256 being the smaller one. All right. And we've got all the different horns. The, like I said before, 326 through 329 have a nylon ball insert. The 330 through 333, those have a metal ball insert into the horn. Nice. There we go. A vast cornucopia. Correct. Of control horns. So if anybody's got questions on any one of these horns, just give us a call at 630-584-7616, extension 2. You'll talk to myself or my business partner, Dan. Uh, shoot us an email, just sales at robart.com. Nice. We'll get you taken care of. All right. Jim, well, yeah. any other questions you got for me? Oh, no. I was just going to kind of recap. We've uh, gone over control horns, clevises, and the uh, reason that yours are so good with uh, with the rotating balls and the uh, lock nuts and the whole dang deal. Correct. Yep. Yeah, you don't have to worry about ours coming apart with that nylock in there. Right. Well, everyone, we've been talking to Mike, and this is another Robart how-to and update. More of a, More of an update, maybe. And uh, we have more coming. So, Mike, once again, thanks for your time and talking to us. Thank you so much, Jim. Have yourself a great day. Bye, everybody.